I'm excited because this is going to be the way of the future for us moving around the cities. And it, will it look exactly like this shuttle? Maybe not. Uh, will it be able to join up with other vehicles? That's, that's still to be determined. But this is how we're going to be moving into the future. The, there will be, uh, you know, the car I probably own right now very well might be the last car I still drive. And, and so it's exciting to sort of see that next phase here in the city being tested on our streets. Because you know, a lot of people, when we're talking about this, they just think about it in relation to how we move throughout the city, which is obviously really critical in that. But it's not just about that. It's going to shape how cities are built. Think about any new developments. Well, I think it's, it allows you to stay more in the neighborhood, especially if it's a fleet-based system. So if we're not owning our own vehicles, uh, then again, it's, it's just that convenience of being able to say, oh, okay, well, I want to go to my near, nearby store. The first thing you might normally do, when you needed to go to the store, you would hop into your car. Yeah. And then it didn't really matter. You would drive whatever distance. Uh, if you drive in a self-driving vehicle and you allow, and your, your built form starts to change, of course, around that as well, suddenly those amenities start coming back into the communities and now you just don't need to go as far. So a self-driving vehicle allows you to connect with that uh, local amenity that will now come back into our neighborhoods because our built form will start to change and it will allow us to, to have that more local experience that, that many people experienced 30 or 40 years ago in these mature communities that are now hollowing out. You know, we're, we're talking about as a city, what's our fare structure and on our transit system and do we shift in the long term to a fare-based approach? Maybe one of the reasons we're looking at things like smart card. I think that's absolutely the case that you would apply to, to a fleet-based uh, self-driving vehicle or self-driving vehicle fleet system. Uh, go to a per-distance approach, per-distance cost.